In this quick tutorial, we'll discuss the Chinese numeration system. The Chinese system uses multiples of 10, such as 10, 100, and 1000. The system is a multiplicative system, which means numerals are formed by writing products of integers between 1 and 9 and powers of 10. With that being said, in question number one, they want us to express the following number that's in Chinese into Hindu Arabic notation. Hindu Arabic notation is just a fancy way of saying, write it in numbers between zero and nine. So how do we interpret this? The first numeral is the value two, and that's shown right there. So we have two times, this is found right here, and it represents 1,000. So we have two times 1,000, that gives us 2,000. This is how you represent the number 2,000 in Chinese. That one was easy, let's try another one. Here we have to express the following numeral in Hindu Arabic notation. Let's begin with the leftmost numeral. This right here is the number nine. We have nine, and then it's followed by this symbol which represents 100. Nine times 100, that's 900. So these two together makes 900. Then we have the following symbol, which is four. Four, and then next to it, to its right, is 10, shown right here. Four times 10. That takes care of these two. And lastly, we have the number two, as we used in question number one. So, putting this all together, we have 942. 942. Let's do one more question for good measure. In question number three, they want us to write 3,542 in Chinese notation. No problem. We'll begin with this symbol that represents three, and we'll need to multiply three by 1,000, shown right there. To represent 500, which is the next place value, the hundreds, we will write down the symbol for five, and we need to multiply five by 100, shown right there. Then we have 42. We need to represent 40, and that can be done by taking this symbol and multiplying it by 10. And finally, to represent this two, we write down the symbol for two. And there you have it, a quick tutorial on how the Chinese represent their numbers. In our next video, we'll be discussing the Babylonian numeration system. See you soon.